Hi, it's Steve from Part Select. Today we're going to show you how to change the run capacitor on your refrigerator. It's a pretty easy job. All we're going to need is a quarter inch nut driver and a quarter inch socket and a small ratchet. Let me show you how it's done. Now to gain access to the run capacitor on this refrigerator, which is located at the rear, we'll need to pull the refrigerator out so that you can get out the back of it, disconnect the power supply and any water lines that may be connected to your refrigerator. I'm going to remove the screws that hold this metal panel in place. They're all quarter inch hex head screws. Now the capacitor is located in behind the condenser fan here. We found that the easiest way to do this job is to remove two screws that secure that fan bracket to the base of the refrigerator. First one we can access with our nut driver. And these are slightly shorter screws than the ones that held the panel on the back, so keep them separate. The second screw is in a little tighter spot, so we'll need our ratchet to get that one out. Just move that cardboard cover aside a little bit. Lift up on the fan motor and tilt it forward. Pull it out far enough so that we can access the wire harness. Just unplug it. And it will lift completely out of there. And there are two slots on the base frame of that condenser fan motor that sit over two tabs on the base here. So when we reinstall that, we'll want to make sure that we line those up properly. Now located in, directly in behind that is our run capacitor. It has a metal shield over the top of it. So with a quarter inch nut driver, we'll remove that screw. Then we can pull the capacitor out enough to disconnect the wires on it. Remove the two wires. Reinstall them on the new capacitor. Make sure they fit nice and tight. If they're a little bit loose, just crimp them with a pair of needle nose pliers. Now there's a little tab on the bottom of this metal bracket or housing for that capacitor. We'll need to make sure that that sits in this opening here. Then we'll line it up with the hole in the base. We're ready to reinstall the condenser fan motor. We need it in far enough so that we can connect the wire harness. Make sure it fits tight. Now we need to line up those tabs on the base frame with the slots in the frame for the motor. Remember to use the two shorter screws to secure the bracket to the frame. Now we're ready to reinstall the grill.
We're ready to reconnect the power, slide the refrigerator into place, and our repair is complete. Told you it was an easy job. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your repair.